Hey everyone, it's Jim Hamill here in downtown Milford at the historic Milford Theater, which has been around for about a century or so, and this year hosting the Black Bear Film Festival. And just within the last year, Milford Hospitality Group has pumped a lot of money into this place, bringing it up to modern day technology and seating and a lot of other things, as well as taking over a number of other properties in town from restaurants, bars, and hotels. We wanted to show you what Milford Hospitality is doing for this town. It was the triumphant return for the Milford Theater. Film lovers out for the grand reopening of the iconic space after months of hard work to give this historic theater a facelift. Their jaws were on the floor when they walked in because you know, Black Bear has, uh, this was their 22nd year of celebrating films and having the festival here in Milford. And obviously COVID, you know, we didn't have any festival last year. Um, so the last time they were really in here was when it was what it was. Now the theater has 250 brand new seats. The screen is new too, and the audio-visual equipment is designed for the best experience possible. That's something the new owners of the theater and a half dozen other properties in Milford are doing a lot of these days. Uh, we started with the Jive Bar and Lounge, which has been established, small corner bar in Milford here on Broad Street, and then just quickly started you know, with Tom Quick, Laura Villa, Hotel Four Share, 403, um, Bar Louie, and then obviously the Milford Theater is a huge piece of the portfolio. So just kind of reviving Milford after the pandemic is super awesome. Gary Wilson and Beth O'Neill are just two of the many team members for Milford Hospitality Group, revamping some of the key spots in Milford to build upon Milford's appeal as a destination. We just see a future in hospitality and entertainment for Milford, and that's kind of what we're building with the theater, with the speakeasy, with the golf club, just instead of creating a day, creating a weekend, creating a destination and making it more of a weekend getaway and not just an overnight stay. Milford Hospitality not only has the Tom Quick Inn, Jive Bar and Lounge, and Hotel Faucher with Bar Louie on its roster, but also the historic Forest Hall, which served as part of the Yale School of Forestry and will eventually have life breathed back into this opulent hall for events like weddings and banquets. But the centerpiece of Milford Hospitality's repertoire remains the theater. It was always designed to be the hub, the center of everything that we're building so that um, at every turn we're focused on sending people to our restaurants, our bars, and our beautiful other properties and also to all the shops in town. And the reviews for the renovation are in. The team that worked on this theater did a fabulous job and they were working up literally to the last moment. It's very high tech. Uh, the, all the seats have been changed out, redid the walls and the screen. All of the projection and sound is top of the line. I mean, they, they, they spared no expense for this theater. The Milford Theater's upgrades include a brand new bar in the lobby that serves beer, wine and spirits, plus your typical movie concessions. And the theater itself will be serving up a lot of programming, a little bit of everything. The programming really does span the entire gamut of, uh, honestly, the arts. So everything from we had a troupe of 15 young performers here getting ready for a Kander and Ebb celebration cabaret style per musical performance. We'll have uh, Vanessa Carlton, a Grammy nominated singer coming on November 20th, which is a completely sold out show. Films will be shown every other weekend. Tickets can be purchased on MilfordTheater.com. And when the show's over or you're waiting for showtime, the numerous other properties under Milford Hospitality's brand are ready to make your visit to Milford a special one. Just take the Varsity Speakeasy at the Tom Quick Inn, for instance. This room was the Varsity room, the original Tom Quick. You can tell by there's a lot of uh, Varsity pennants around the room. The wood is all old etched. Um, we kind of taken it from a banquet bar and recreated it to what we're calling now is the Varsity Speakeasy. You know, using it as a speakeasy backdoor entrance, super dark, super cool, intimate, um, low lighting, candlelight, smoked cocktails, craft cocktails, just a super cool environment. It only fits, you know, 20, 22 people. So it's really kind of an exclusive experience back here. All this investment in Milford is not just one company. Others, including Better World, have laid stake on Milford's future. The store and cafe on Broad Street is a healthy living store, meets foodie paradise, organic coffee and tea, and tons more to complement the big moment Milford is having now and for years to come. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Pocono Tourism YouTube channel and click the bell button below 
to be the first to watch new videos. You can also click the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Pocono Mountains Magazine.